to kick them. This is no sad. Talking about making men feel uncomfortable, the French team uh, Paris Saint Germain has requested that your borders video be taken offline because you're seen in it wearing a modified version of the club's shirt. The shirt has the words "Fly Pirates" across the middle instead of "Fly Emirates." The soccer team's also seeking compensation for quote the harm we have suffered. Your thoughts about this? Man, man, man. You know, sports is a very alpha male thing, and they always come after me. <laughs> yeah, it's always sports teams. Uh, well, I was in a, you know, I was in the case with the NFL for about two years. Then, you know, I was in a, a personal case with uh, the father of my child for like two years. And then now I'm, you know, being pursued by another sports club. Um, it's just a lot of men drama. Obviously, I don't want to talk about fashion, but this is a fashion issue, you know. It's a T-shirt, and the bigger picture and the bigger message in the video is completely ignored. It's gone over their head. And, and I think that it's really uh, difficult to control something like that, you know, to say refugees or immigrants don't wear sportswear. It's, uh, it's, like, the, it's like the wrongest thing. If you look at if you look at um, third world countries, uh, not just the refugee issue, but if you just look at third world countries as a whole, or look at war zones, um, or any slums, or any uh, even you know middle class families and upper class, whatever whatever the demographic is in the third world you would find sportswear. That is just the national, it's just become the national, international, the global universal uniform for everybody. Even in 2016, you know, if you look out of the window in New York City, how many people are you going to find wearing a Nike tick or an Adidas stripe or the, you know, logo of a, a, a clothing company that is connected to a sports brand? Uh, I, I would say maybe one out of two people, or you know, I don't. It, it, the percentage is pretty high because in London it is. That's like the look. Everybody has, you know, sportswear like they're going to the gym. That is the new style at the moment. But wearing football tops uh, has been the uniform, or wearing tracksuits in Palestine, you know, throwing stones. Has been the uniform it, of uh, the, I guess, the underprivileged people of the world because that is the cheapest thing we can find. It's bootleg stuff. The, we bootleg the biggest brands. You know, it used to be Versace and DNG and things like that in the 90s, you know, and then in the 2000s, it was just sportswear. And I think. I think for them to control that is a really stupid thing. You know, I can't, I can't control something like that, and um, it, it's just realistic. I thought in representing the migrant community, you know, how do you leave that piece out if you're making something or trying to make something realistic? Western. Western.